Hello friends, this is Ramana. Today I will show how to execute the SSS package using command line prompt. So there are three ways to execute the SSS package. One is by clicking the start in the SSS. First one is clicking the start button. Or you can click uh, right click on the package and execute task this is one way and second one is <coughs> by executing through a, a SQL server through a SQL server management studio after deploying the package into the SSMS third one here is by using the command line command line prompt so today in this demo i am showing how to run the package using the command line so this is my input data which is a comma separated value and it contains five columns and around 270 rows 270 rows are there in this sheet now i want to load this data into the another uh, text file I want to load this data into the another text file for that I am taking the new package this is um, the package here is only simple uh, simple package uh, loading the CSV form uh, and uh, getting the data from the CSV file and uh, loading it into the uh, text format so the I want to show here uh, how to run the package from the command line prompt first I am taking the uh, data for task because of my uh, in input source is CSV format I am dragging the flat file source at my source double click configure new browse so here I am taking CSV file as test one this is my CSV file including column names also in the first row I want to include column names and this is the data and this is the preview now I am I am loading the data into the flat file and the flat file destination from flat file to flat file here here first one is the CSV and second one is the the, the destination is the destination here is text file so loading the data from the input source is the csv and I'll load this data into the txt file so after after running the data the all 270 rows into loaded into the text file to configure double click click no no i want to delimited delimited format that is comma separated Browse. There is no for folder particular there. Now I am creating test underscore destination. Test test underscore destination text file. Open columns in the first row. Column names in the first row. Preview as this. Okay. Mapping. No need to do any manual mapping. package is ready configuration has done successfully for both source and extraction now uh, i am uh, running the package by clicking start button so it um, it loaded again uh, all 270 rows go go and see the test dish so here the destination we have created at the time of the config loading this see, all 270 rows are loaded so this is how we generally load the data um, from source to destination um, by using the uh, this start button or else you need to click the uh, right click and execute button now I want to show how to run the, um, the same package in the command line prompt for that I am deleting the whole data, data so there is no data test underscore test file text format file now 
to load the to, we need to have uh, two utilities one is the package SSS package utilities and another one is the other one is the SSS installation utilities first one uh, we are we are taking from C folder program files MS SQL Server. So these are the so many versions. As per your version, you have to take that accordingly that number. So the, my SSD is the Visual Studio is 2019 version. So that's why it is 150. If you have a different version, you have to select the other folders. The double click on the 150 folder and go to TTS, go to bin. Here you have one utility called dtex.exe. So we need to take this utility, utility path dtexe.exe. Take this path, notepad. And second one, second utility we need here is, and go to package, right click and open the package contain containing folder. Here my package name is package 3. I, I didn't put any name. Um, my pa package name is C here. Package 3 is my package name. So I want to take this. The, this is stored in the extension of spec that is integration service package. So I want to take that uh, package 3 the path for enter path address copying this and paste it in the other folder by using these two paths we need to run the package in command line front so how to run the command line just by clicking the cmd click command line front now first we need to select the bin path that is first one bin dtexe dot exe data transfer executable exe that is full form i am taking this path whenever you you have to paste the path you have to do within double quotes and close with double quotes afterwards then before going to take this second path we need to take some file file because we are uh, we are executing the package from the file system that's why we are using this file the we have tried to mention the slash forward slash and file and again double quotes and select the whole path second path that is package utility path this is what package package address and close with double quotes so if you run the package if you enter the package will will run execute the package and run the same result in this folder that is the files in this test destination all 270 rows were copied in, in this folder i am running the package now Since we have very few records of data in the CSV file, that's why it, it ran very quickly. See, uh, SQL Server Execute Package Utility is running, and my system my system is 64 bit, so it will execute 60, uh, 0%, percent, 100 percent everything, and various. And uh, at the end, it, it ran 0.844 seconds. So when you go and check your file. here all 270 records are loaded so this is how you know to load now uh, i want to do some changes in the input source I'm deleting the data again in the destination and added one more row at the end that is 271 row and again trying to run the package from command 270 271 and Tendul curve, tendul curve, 
mail last one is the company company field i am taking in google so i, I added 271 row in say in source file and saving it i am running the package again closing this i am again uh, running in the <coughs> command run if you want to get the previous command just should take the uh, upward arrow up button it automatically the it will come and enter so after that you need to uh, now it, it will take 0.937 seconds and go to the files and check your destination or text document see here 21st 271 throw is such in tindal for mail google so this is how you need to run the package from the uh, by using the command line prompt this is one of the important question in a SSS developer composition for any SSS developer interviewer may, may ask how many times how many ways you need to run the package and sometimes they ask me to uh, run the package practically before them hope this video is helpful to you thanks for watching the video thank you very much